Howdy folks, uh, in this video we're going to step away from ham radio just a little bit. We're still going to be in the realm of RF, but uh, we're going to take this L&B, which is for the KU band. Uh, normally it would reside in a dish, uh, but we're going to power it up with a bias T. We're going to take this RTL SDR dongle and uh, plug it into my 7-inch Android tablet. And uh, we'll track Starlink beacons and uh, watch them go across the sky and also uh, see the beacon signal uh, using SDR Angel software. So let's go over to the bench and uh, we'll check it out. Okay, let's go over some of the parts that I uh, purchased. Um, this L&B came in this package. Um, again, I have the link down the bottom, but uh, it was about $9. It says uh, universal single L and B on the top of the, the box. I'll bring the box a little closer so you can kind of make it out. There you go. Um, so we're going to need this. Uh, and this is an F type connector. So I picked up a F to a SMA adapter. That's going to go on just like this. So now we got an SMA connector to connect to. Um, one thing we're going to need is a 12 volt battery source, and this is just a simple 12 volt uh, LiPo battery uh, that I had lying around here. Uh, in order to power that up, you're going to need a bias T. And this one I think I found on uh, eBay for maybe $10, $12. Um, it's uh, 1 through 50 volts. At a half amp max um, and it's good up to uh, six gigahertz I don't know if you can see that right there it says uh, six gig so uh, this side um, goes to the uh, RTL disk SDR and this side would go up to the uh, the L and B um, and so I have a couple of uh, uh, SMA coax cables so what we'll do is uh, hook this up real quick so you can see how this goes. So that end to that, and then this end into the L and B, just like that. So you can see both of those in the screen at the same time. And then this is the 12 volt leads and they would attach to the uh, battery and then the uh, other side goes to the RTL SDR so this is just the uh, RF only side so I take the uh, RTL uh, SDR dunkel and attach it to the coax cable so this is approximately the whole the whole setup right here so uh let's go out to um let's go outside uh and see if we can uh track any satellites with a tablet hold up i realize that uh, some of us might not follow what's going on so i'm gonna make a quick sketch here so up here we have the uh, satellites, so we'll just make a little uh, TIE fighter looking uh, satellite here. Uh, the downlink for Starlink um, is 11, 325, sorry, 325 megahertz. So that's the same thing as 11.3 gigahertz. Uh, that's one of the Starlink down, downlink channels. There's actually eight, and each one of them is uh, 250 megahertz wide. Uh, but inside that uh, downlink signal is a uh, beacon signal, uh, which you can see uh, with just an RTL SDR. Um, 
I want to say it's two megahertz wide or something like that. We'll we'll see on the RT on the um, SDR Angel. So on our end, we have the uh, that L and B unit, which kind of looks like this. Okay, so here's my crude drawing. I'll just uh, write down this is the LNV. So the satellite is emitting a signal at 11.3 gigahertz. Um, and then in the, inside the LNV, it gets converted to between 1.5 and 1.6 gigahertz, which we'll be able to pick up on the RTL SDR. So the bias T is just used for powering up the LMB. The signal from the LMB comes back down through the bias T and into the RTL SDR. Um, that in turn is connected through USB into my tablet and we're running SDR Angel. I hope that uh, clears up a little bit of the confusion. Okay, we're out here on the patio. I got the setup going. We have the, uh, the battery, the bias T, the L and B kind of pointing up to the sky, RTL SDR into my tablet. I also have a uh, Nikon here that's going to shoot the tablet screen a little bit better. So I'm going to hop over to there right now. Okay, so I've started up the SDR Angel. Uh, we set the uh, VFO to 1575 megahertz or 1.575 gigahertz. Um, change the decimation to 16. Uh, gain whatever your RTL SDR requires. I think I'm somewhere in the 30s or 40s. But um, you can see a spectral display here. Uh, this signal uh, you can ignore it's just some sort of con continuous signal um, but uh, what we're looking for is a signal that starts over here and slowly moves across and the reason why it's moving across like that is because of Doppler shift so uh, keep an eye out I'm going to look as close as I can the uh, L and B is pointed in the sky towards the west at say a 45 degree elevation. Um, I only picked uh, west because it's a little clearer sky for me at my QTH. So eventually, hopefully, we'll see a Starlink go by. Okay, we have one. See that signal? Moving across right here that's a Starlink satellite beacon signal with a slight amount of Doppler its frequency is slowly changing starting at a high frequency moving lower and lower and lower sometimes I'll see uh, two or three at a time now it's possible to hear the Doppler shift oh, we just got one right here I don't know if you can, that comes out in camera, it's very faint. It's slowly moving in this direction. As I was saying, it is possible to hear the Doppler shift. What I usually do is I uh, click the little running man here. I'll add SSB demodulator. Hit apply. And just close this out. Right. 
and let's move this into the background. Let's bring this back up. And let's turn up the volume a little bit. All right. I'm hoping that's coming out on the microphone. Okay, so the next one that passes by this little window that we're demodulating and producing audio from should actually make a cool sound. And yep, I heard that. Here's one coming. Listen to this. Did you hear that? It went pew. We didn't catch it again over here. We heard it again slightly. That was the uh, that was the Doppler shift as it was passing through our window. Waiting for another one to come by. Oh, here's one. Here's an, another. And we'll do it one more time. <laughs> that never gets old. Well, there you have it. Catching some Starlink beacon signals with just a RTL SDR and uh, an LNB, Universal LNB. Eh, nine bucks. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Bye.